Hi there, and welcome to Monday Myths and Folk Tales. I'm Mr. Dan, and I'm really excited to share with you some stories from all around the world. This week's story comes to us from the opposite side of planet Earth, from Australia. It's told to us today by James Vance Marshall, but these stories are much, much older than James Vance Marshall. These are some of the oldest stories told on Earth. They've been told for, some people think, tens of thousands of years. Um, and they come to us from the Yorta Yorta peoples, an Aboriginal tribe in Australia. This is Stories from the Billabong by James Vance Marshall and Francis Firebrace. It's got super beautiful artwork. That's what, part of the reason why I chose this book this week. Um, it's because I thought it might provide some inspiration for some super cool crafts and artwork. So, without further ado, let's turn to one story that really stood out to me anyway, called Why the Platypus is Such a Special Creature. In the dream time, the creator made three different types of animal. First, he created mammals. He told the mammals that they were to live on the land, and he gave them fur to keep them warm. Next, he created fish. He told the fish they were to live in the water, and he gave them gills to help them breathe. Then he created birds. He told the birds they were to live in the sky, and he gave them wings to enable them to fly. And he gave the mother birds the ability to reproduce by laying eggs. When the creator had made these three different types of animal, he found there were lots of bits and pieces left over. So he joined these bits and pieces together and created platypus. Platypus are like no other creature on earth. They have fur like a mammal. They can swim underwater like a fish. And the mother platypus lays eggs like a bird. At first, the mammals, the fish, and the birds all lived happily together. But after a while, they began to quarrel and fight. For each group thought that it was the best and most important. The mammals held a meeting. Big Bagaray the kangaroo thumped the ground with his tail. Thump, thump, thump. We mammals are the greatest, he shouted. We are special. We have fur. What about platypus? Said his wife. He has fur. The mammals thought about this, and they agreed to visit platypus and ask him if he would join them in their fight against the fish and the birds. Platypus listened very carefully to all the mammals had to say. Then he replied, Thank you for asking me to be one of your family. I'll think about it. A few days later, the fish held a meeting. Gudu, the big muray cod, leapt out of the water and came down with an almighty splash. We fish are the greatest, he shouted. We are special. We can swim underwater. What about platypus, said his wife. He spends most of his life underwater. The fish thought about this, and they agreed to visit platypus and ask him if he would join them in their fight against the mammals and the birds. Platypus listened carefully to all the fish had to say. Then he replied, Thank you for asking me to join your family. I'll think about it. Next, the birds held a meeting. Bungil, the eagle, spread and flapped his wings. The sound was like a tree falling. We birds are the greatest, he shouted. We are special. Only we can fly and lay eggs. What about platypus? Said his wife. She lays eggs. The birds thought about this. They agreed to visit platypus and asked them if they would join their family in their fight against the mammals and the fish. Platypus listened very carefully to all the birds had to say. And then he replied, thank you for asking me to be one of your family. I'll think about it. Platypus thought and thought and thought about what he should do. 
But no matter how hard he thought, he couldn't decide which group to join. After a while, the animals got tired of waiting for him to make up his mind. They gathered outside his home on the banks of the Billabong River, and the mammals shouted, Join us! We are the best! And the fish shouted, No, join us! Join us! We are special! We're special! And the birds shouted, Join us! We're the best and special! At last, in the cool of the evening, Platypus came out, and all the animals fell silent. I've made up my mind, said Platypus. I am a part of each of you, and part of all of you. And that's how I want to stay. So, thank you very much for asking me to be a part of your family, but I've decided not to join any of you. The animals didn't like this one bit. So Platypus went on. Please, let me explain, let me explain. When the Creator first made us, He made each of us different. So each of us, in our own way, is special. But special doesn't mean better. None of us is better or worse than their neighbor, only different. So we ought to respect each other's differences and live together without fighting. I like the way this platypus thinks. When the animals thought about this, they agreed that Platypus was very wise and had made a good decision after all. Now it so happened that standing among the animals listening that evening to Platypus was a hunter of the Pintubi tribe. This hunter was so impressed by what Platypus had to say that he made his, prom his people promise never to harm such a wise creature. Which is why no Aboriginal Australian will ever hunt and kill a platypus, even if he is hungry. I'll let you zoom in on the banks of the billabong there before we go. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty inspired to try my own hand at some of these Aboriginal designs. I just love the way they use color and line and polka dots to create animals and landscapes. They're super beautiful. And if you think so too, swing by the library this week to pick up a craft packet. Each craft packet comes with a cardboard boomerang for you to decorate and lots of materials to help you decorate it with. Did you know that the boomerang is actually an ancient Aboriginal tool used for hunting and fire starting? and as a percussive instrument too. Um, ours are just gonna be used for decoration, but they're still super cool, or rather, they're as cool as you make them. So I hope you'll come and pick up a craft packet, and then you can share out your creations on Friday with myself and Miss Angie. We'd love to see what you're working on at home. I hope you'll join us. Have a lovely week, and join us again next week for another myth and legend from around the world.